thing. Nice take off. Nice stance. My such old Bell 206 guts. Finally alive again in this new beast, the military attack helicopter. Superb man. I fell a lot, looks really nice. Well, the first time when I took off, I had excessive vibration just because I forgot to add the, uh, the screws on the frame. And the uh, helicopter actually came down very hard. But I'm happy that, you know, having to have a little bit of weight with two millimeter thickness walls on this print, nothing broke on that very hard landing. Actually, it broke the uh, main rotor and uh, bent the main shaft. Imagine that. It was that hard crash. But the fuselage, 3D printed fuselage, didn't break at all. So it was a good decision to have 2 millimeter thickness. Now, I have removed all the vibration. Please check my video where I have given you all these uh, tips and tricks on how, how to remove vibrations from this uh, Bell 206 you know, guts and how to add, how to install uh, different methods to remove the vibrations for this fuselage and man mashallah look at that it's flying really nice and amazing super happy to see that my Cobra inspired military attack helicopter is actually flying really well nice man looks actually very nice Imagine after painting, it will be actually much more charming, more beautiful and look more realistic if I can paint it right. My paintbrush, airbrush should be arriving very soon, inshallah. And then the next step, of course, is to paint this bad boy into a nice color scheme. Head speed, a smaller battery, and it's mashallah flying really nice. No issues at all, no underpower feeling, everything is very, very nice. Check this out in the updated design that you will get now, and those who have already purchased, they can download it again. These cables now will go inside right from under the motor and inside the tail, so you will not see them outside anymore. And I have also done some more updates here in order to secure the uh, frame to the model itself, to the fuselage itself, plus the main uh, front nose, plus the front nose have some improvements and hatch lock has been improved as well. So thank you very much for watching this video and thank you very much for your support for this project. Um, if you have any feedback, any suggestions to add some more items to this model, to improve this model in some other ways, or if you want to see the same model for other helicopters like FW450 V3, Goose Sky S2, just let me know in video comments because I have FW450 V3, I have Huey US1 V4 from Flywing, I have Goose Sky S2, 
And man, imagine if I can do this for Goose Sky RS7, the big 700 size helicopter in this fuselage, that will look amazing. But hey, next project I think should be inspired by the Russian mill MI24. What do you think? Crash rebuild, bounce back, that's what I do. Crash rebuild, bounce back quickly in the dirty south, ain't no one slick.